Covering severe weather tonight, we have a new tornado watch that's in place. I'm meteorologist Samantha Moore, one of your 11 Alive storm trackers, and this tornado watch is in place until 10 p.m. So from Heard, Coweta, over to Spalding, and southward, all of these counties that are highlighted are under a tornado watch, which means there is a potential to see some isolated tornadoes. We've already had some confirmed tornadoes in Alabama and this is the same frontal system that's moving in our direction that's causing the severe weather. So there you see the big picture, the Storm Prediction Center's chance for uh, convective activity. So we have a, a marginal chance across the Atlanta area, which means isolated severe storms are possible. Can't roll up a spin out tornado. And then where you see the yellow is a slight chance. So even a, a better chance for a little more coverage as far as potential for severe. So strong to severe storms tonight. Look at this line. This this is our forecast track. Look at all the red that you see on the screen, the orange and the red. That's going to be very heavy rain. This is 8 o'clock and we're going to see those winds really picking up as well as the system moves on through. So not only the threat for isolated tornadoes, but straight line winds could also cause some damage, bringing trees down and causing power outages. This moves across this evening. So by 10 o'clock, it's going to be from I-85 stretching down through Athens and over uh, through Eatonton and then into South Georgia. So we're going to be concerned the next few hours, primarily in the evening. And then once it moves out, some very gusty winds. Wind advisory kicks in as we head into the overnight hours and through tomorrow we could see winds gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour that could cause more trees to come down freezing line well to our south and east so maybe a wintry mix here as this moves on through can't rule out a flake or two in the atlanta area as well and very cold air rushing in for martin luther king day as we head into monday brutally cold wind chills likely will be down in the teens maybe even single digits as this very cold air moves on in so we'll expect to see these gusty winds as we head into the next next 24 hours or so and through much of Sunday. It's going to make it brutally cold to be out and about into Martin Luther King Day as well. A cold and breezy day. Temperatures dipping down as cold as we've been so far this season or even colder. If we get down to 24, it'll be the coldest air so far this season and then very chilly as we head into Tuesday and then more rain midweek. Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb and myself will have the latest this evening on 11 Alive.